Hello and welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel, Rose Between Pages. Rosie here, welcome to another Judging Books by Their Covers vlog. This is number two, and we are reading Fairy Tale by Stephen King. I mean, look at this cover, it's beautiful. I'm not that far in, I'm literally, <coughs> I'm literally three pages in, so I can't really do an update as of yet, but... Just thought I'd start this vlog. I've not really done a reading update for you guys yet, um, or I might have done but not really said anything about this book. So I'm nearly 140 pages through, which is nearly quarter way through already, which is kind of crazy because it doesn't actually seem like, feel like I've been reading this uh, for 140 pages, but I'm really enjoying this so far. At the minute, um, it's like, right, we've been introduced to Charlie, we've been introduced to Charlie's dad, we found out what happened to Charlie's mom, and we found out what, how it made his dad feel, and what it made his dad do. Then we've also met Mr. Bowditch, who is usually a grouchy old man, and his dog, his German Shepherd, Radar, is known as an aggressive dog but she's just really un misunderstood and to be honest she's very protective over Mr. Bowditch. So Mr. Bowditch had a little bit of an accident and Charlie's been with him the entire time. He's been looking after him, he's been making sure that he gets his medication on time, been making sure that he's not getting too addicted to this medication as well and something's just happened in the in the shed in the backyard like there is something in this fucking shed and mr bowditch is not telling charlie what this thing is so that's where i'm at and quite liking it so far it's okay so far we'll see if it gets any better like obviously I don't want to put it down because it's okay, it's still got my attention and, you know, it's actually intriguing in some sense, like the premise is okay, it feels like a coming of age but then it also feels like just a teenager helping an elderly elderly man, really and his elderly dog so you know that's what it feels like and that's what it really is at the minute but i'm just waiting to see what happens because there is like a fantasy-esque slash paranormal sort of situation in this book apparently like i read the blurb so i don't i don't know really i don't actually know yet but we shall see what happens. Hi. So, me and 
have been pretty busy today. I was supposed to start my sprint at like 20 to 10 today. Didn't end up starting until like 12-ish. I think it was like 20 past 12 when I started or 25 past 12. One of the two. Anyways, we've been pretty busy because our bed, our bed arrived. So we've been busy dismantling the old bed. And putting the old bed outside at the moment. We're gonna take him up to the bin take it up to the bins tonight once it's dark. Re like assembling our new bed. Vacuuming, mopping, cleaning, like we've been doing a hell of a lot today, so it's now half two and we've been going since 9 a.m pretty much so about five and a half hours we've not sat down and stopped really so i'll show you the room let me show you okay so this is a bed i'm currently on my own sprints right now you go down here we have drawers so like i've put all my clothes and my pajamas and stuff in here so like that's all stuff sorted sorted this out all my teddies are here now and my hats are there as well so yeah and then my games are busy a couple of days uh so obviously tuesday our bed arrived wednesday i can't even remember what i did yesterday i really don't i don't remember at all oh yeah i went out i went out i went to my appointment i as soon as i came home i went on sprints and i was on sprints until about 10 p.m no, 11, sorry. And then I fell asleep. Like, yesterday just flew. And then today has flown kind of as well. Me and Josh went shopping today. We went food shopping today. And basically, it's just been, we've just been really busy today. Went food shopping. Came back. Bought everything that we needed. I've bought my mother-in-law a early birthday present because it's her birthday on the 16th of April. Then bought myself Stardew Valley, so I'm looking forward to playing more of that. I did have a little bit of a look around on it earlier. I think it's really it's a really cutesy game. It's my type of game, so I think I'm going to play a little bit of that later tomorrow. So we're having like really, really nice sweet milkshakes tomorrow from this place called Arches. They do really, really nice chocolatey milkshakes. I'm not really a fan of milkshakes, but Arches milkshakes, you cannot go wrong with them. And basically came back, went to the shop with my nieces. Then I cleaned the room a little bit because there was a couple of clothes in places that I weren't supposed to be. And then started reading a little bit more of Fairy Tale. So I'm on page 220 of this. So it's finally got fantasy esque. And I'm wondering what's going to happen with. Charlie made out in this other world, so I'm looking forward to reading more of Fairy Tale. I was actually hyper focused on it last night, so hence why I didn't really update during my sprints yesterday. And then, yeah, it's just been a busy couple of days, really.
wanted to say I'd pop in here and tell you what I've been doing basically it has been a very productive day for me today I have filmed my March wrap up I edited it and I've uploaded it and scheduled it so that's great don't have to worry about this week or next week for content wise then I made my studying to-do list for the next seven weeks because I'm starting my second module the second week of April so next week I'll be starting my computing again I have been studying quite a little bit today I've done about three and a bit pages of work today so far I'm still not done yet I emailed my tutor as well and I booked all of my lectures for my computing course so I don't really have to worry about it now just need to keep on top of everything and I have just got to the next part which is 2.5 the future is all around us so looking forward to studying more this it's been a really productive day today really really good i'm on fire i really am i'm happy because i'm zooming so much today like i'm focusing like mad today i'm hyper focusing and i did think about procrastinating earlier because obviously i like i say i wrote my studying to-do list but it's not just for one of my modules, it's both of them. So that made me want to procrastinate because I have a lot to do in these next seven weeks. Like, I'll just go through it with you. Like, let me move. So let me just hold you. I need to finish part two of my computing. Get through all of part 3 and do all of 3.2 then after I've done that I need to do questions 2B to 2D on my computing assignment ignore Josh in the background he's just like he's come home from work and he was very tired like he didn't go to sleep until about 1pm so I'm leaving him to sleep then 10th of April I need to do my ICMA 41, which is like a quiz. And then I need to finish part 3. Once I've finished part 3 of my computing, I need to finish my ICMA 41. Then finish part 4 to 6 of my computing. After I've finished each part, I need to draft questions that are for them parts and type up my entire assignment then for my maths I need to finish unit 3 and do the practice quiz then I need to finish unit 4 and do the practice quiz and after I've done with unit 3 I need to print off my second assignment for maths so I don't really need to do too much for maths which is good because I have a lot on with my computing my computing is a lot more intense than my maths if i'm honest because maths they give you two weeks for every unit whereas my computing they are giving me six weeks six weeks to finish this entire textbook that's why i started early <laughs> because it's intense and i don't know if i'll be able to do it if I get behind again. Sorry that I've not really been updating you lately. This 
week has just been very hectic. So basically six days ago our pug gave birth to four beautiful puppies. Unfortunately, she was going to have a fifth but unfortunately passed away. But Mama's doing great, babies are doing great. Basically we're having to like feed them a lot at the minute because Nala's not got a lot, like she's not got enough milk in her for the babies and she's like at first she was very very scared of them but she's got used to them she knows that there's something to do with her because she keeps sniffing at them and keeps looking worried whenever they cry so she knows that they're her, they're her children but she just she doesn't have enough milk for them bless her so they're nearly a week old which is great but it's fucking my sleeping pattern up it's fucking everyone's sleeping pattern up so basically me and my mother-in-law are the ones that are um mostly what do you call it we are the ones that are mostly seen to the babies so it's fucking my sleeping pattern up and it's fucking her sleeping pattern up so basically at night i feed them at like 12 like midnight or one tonight it's gonna be half two in the fucking morning so i'm gonna have to stay up until half two so tonight's gonna be great and basically not going to sleep until between two and four in the morning so you know yeah josh is currently at work i know it's a monday but he got called in so he's doing eight while two so that's great because i'll still be awake anyways and you know yeah um so we've got that happening and then lately like my mother-in-law has been going to sleep like she's been going to sleep at 10 so after their last feed from her she's been going to sleep and then getting up at the next feed not my feed but her her next feed so yeah it's fun like she's having to sleep during the day because of the babies she's sleeping from like 2 to 4 p.m i'm sleeping until 11 between 11 and 1 p.m so our sleeping patterns are just basically fucked at the moment so yeah it's it's fun basically lately i have been studying my maths today i'm on unit three then i've also got i'm also on part three of my computing which is great. Everything is going well with my studying. But because I'm putting the puppies first and my studying first, I'm not getting a lot of reading done. I'm on page 372 of this. And it's taken me a very long time to get through these pages. Because like I say, I've been, com I've been completely focused on my studying and the puppies because we've just come back from the Easter break and I'm supposed to be on unit 5 of my maths so I'm trying to keep up with that I'm supposed to be on part 1 of my computing so I'm ahead of that which is brilliant but undead soldiers like it's getting to a thrilling part like it's pretty thrilling at the moment because it's like oh undead soldiers they're whipping him they're keeping him hostage they're keeping him as a prisoner it's like oh this is quite intriguing don't get me wrong i have been wanting to get back to this book but obviously more important things like studying and puppies have been my top priority lately so what i'm gonna do today this evening is i'm gonna watch harry potter and the order of the phoenix i think i've got 51 minutes left or something mm. 
57. I've got about 57 minutes left of that. I've been having a really big Harry Potter marathon lately. So I've just been watching the movies one after another. Whenever I've finished one, I've gone on to the next one. So I'm going to watch this and see how much I read while I'm watching this in the background. And then I'm also, after this, I'm going to watch Half Blood Prince and I'm going to watch The Two Deathly Hallows. So Harry Potter movie marathon on my own is the best and it's a great time to be having while Josh is at work. We also have LED lights. You can see the light in light at the back of the TV. So that's the thing I'm really excited about. But the only thing is they don't go with the movies, which is what I wanted. But it's better than nothing. It brightens up the room. I like it. So we will get ones that go with whatever you're watching. But I quite like these. So... I'm going to go light a candle, I'm going to put my fairy lights on and it's just going to be cosy vibes in here while I'm watching Harry Potter in the background of reading. It's going to be a good night. Hey, so not sure what Harry Potter film I was on when I last updated you but I'm on Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part 1 now. I just have this in part 2 to watch and then I'm done with Harry Potter. I'm on page 406 of Fairy Tale. At the moment, Charlie is cap like he's been taken captive and he's being tormented by the undead. So these undead uh, aka night soldiers are like skeletons, corpses and zombies. So I think they're pretty cool. And their auras are blue, but they're electrifying. So you've got to be very, very careful near these skeletons. So I'm really enjoying this so far. It's a vibe reading this and watching one of my comfort movie franchises in the background. It's really nice. Also, me and Josh have started to make a movie list. But it's not just going to be a movie list, like, we're going to put down animes or TV shows that we want to watch together. So I'm looking forward to that, to doing this nearly every week with him. It just depends if I'm already in a franchise marathon, or if he's in a franchise marathon, then that just depends on when we're going to do it. But we've said we're gonna probably maybe do like a random number generator or something or put them in a wheel and spin the wheel. So we have stuff ranging from like horror, so like you've got your Saw, you've got your Halloween, your Scream, Resident Evil. Nightmare on Elm Street, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Friday the 13th, Chucky. Then you've also got Hunger Games, Transformers, Jurassic Park, Star Wars, Suzume. I loved that film. I've watched Suzume. I watched it before it came out. But I love Suzume. Suzume is really good. Then we've also got Lord of the Rings and How to Train Your Dragon. So we've just got like a lot of stuff. That we want to watch so far and it's probably going to build more and more so we will watch things together don't know what we're going to watch we want to watch game of thrones together we want to watch um i want to watch american horror story with josh as well but i also want to watch american horror story on my own because i've only watched the first season of that so we'll see. And I have I have things to show you actually. He Josh bought me a few things actually. Let me go get them. So 
as you know, as some of you may know, like, I've had my Guns N' Roses backpack for years. Like, I'm turning 23 this year, and that backpack has been with me since year 9, so about nearly 10 years it's been with me. Maybe 9, nine 10 years. It's lasted a long time. Unfortunately, the zip has gone on it, so I needed a new backpack. And I'm obsessed with what Josh got me. Josh got me this beautiful embroidered backpack. It has moons and leaves all over it. It's a little bit smaller than my other one, but I do love this. Like, you've got a pocket there, you've got a pocket there. Then you turn it round, you've actually got a pocket there as well. And then inside, you have like the bag space, then you've got another pocket, another pocket, and two pockets for like keys and phone. So it's a handy little backpack. Like, I really want to go out somewhere with this at some point soon because it's doing my nuts. And the other thing is, I lost. A couple of my horror bookmarks. I don't know where they went. No idea. They just disappeared into the oblivion. So Josh kindly bought me quite a lot of bookmarks. I was only expecting like two. Maybe three. But he bought me these knife ones. So we have it. Chucky. Uh, Leatherface. And Billy the Puppet from Jigsaw. So I love them. And then he also got me... Woodsboro. Camp Crystal Lake. Elm Street. And this is... Smith Grove Sanitarium, Illinois State Hospital. Which is from ha Halloween. So I'm in love with them, and then, we're not done yet, and then, he bought me Sugar Skull ones, because I've never had Sugar Skull bookmarks, so we have this one, this one, and this one, I think they're gorgeous, I really do, I love all of these bookmarks, and they're a nice colour. Nice addition to my many bookmarks that I have. It's more me of these ones. So it just shows my gothic horror side of me. These ones. Which I really, really like. Anyways, I'm going to go and watch Harry Potter Deathly Hallows. Which I'm not that far into, actually. Where's the mouse? Give me a second. Hang on. Let me find the mouse. I'm like, I'm not even two minutes in, so I've just started it. And I'm gonna go read Fairy Tale. Try and I'm gonna try and get to 75% and then choose my bookmark. Because I'm reading a Warhammer series after Fairy Tale because Josh wants to buddy me with Sea of Souls with me. So, that's fun. <laughs>
I have just finished Fairy Tale. This is a four star. I would recommend this if you like fairy tales, like the classics, like Jack and not Jack and Jill, Jack and the Beanstalk, Wizard of Oz, Woman, the old woman that lived in the shoe. Just there's like a lot of fairy tales and stories just mixed into one world in this. Basically, you are following Charlie and Mr. Bowditch at first. Charlie is a 17-year-old boy and Mr. Bowditch is his grumpy old neighbour that no one gets along with. So, basically, you follow Charlie and Radar, who is a beautiful German Shepherd. And, basically they go to this other world because Radar is unfortunately very old. She's a very very old dog and Charlie's goal is to make her young again. So we meet a lot of friends on the way, we meet enemies on the way, we meet some friendly new faces, like some familiar faces. So, this was really enjoyable, like, it was enjoyable, I don't see myself reading this again, but I'm keeping it for Josh because he wants to read this, because it seems right up his street, and I enjoyed the ending of this, so I recommend if you like a lot of fairy tales, but it's also a little bit dark because it's got a little bit of blood and stuff in that, like killings and stuff. So, this was brilliant, and four stars. I am going to be reading Avenging Sun by Guy Haley next. This is the first novel in the Adorn of Fire series, and I'm a little bit scared because it's Warhammer 40k, and it's my first one. It's my first 40k series, and it's also a sci-fi, like a space sci-fi, so I'm a little bit scared, a little bit intimidated, but you'll see another vlog for this. Thank you so much for watching, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment below if you liked Fairy Tale and what you liked about it, or tell me what you didn't like about Fairy Tale. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay luscious, guys. Bye.